everyone, it's April with Hair 101. Today we are going to do a longer boys haircut. This haircut is kind of like the young Justin Bieber look when he was young and sweet. So we're going to start, you're going to want to wash the hair, make sure it's nice and clean and tangle free. And then we're going to start with the perimeter. So we're going to leave the bangs long and just kind of leave those alone, just sweep them out of the way. And we're going to go to the right side. And we're going to just start right around the ear and we're going to cut a nice clean perimeter line around his face. Okay, so tilt just a little bit like that. There you go. And so when you go in here, you're just going to try to see where the hair line starts and just try to follow that. You might have to do it a couple times just to get it nice and clean and comb and then do it again. And then on the top of the ear, you're going to fold the ear down. And then you're going to fold, push this hair kind of forward and then do the same thing, just follow that hairline. And you want to make sure you don't cut into the hairline. It's really important that you don't do that because you'll get like a missing hole. So if you're not sure, then make sure you're doing it a little bit longer and not too short. Okay, so then in the back here, we're just going to hold the ear with our finger and then you're just going to push the hair with the comb towards that perimeter line and then you're going to go down. And ignore the screaming children in the background. Let's go ahead and go down. And then in the back, we're going to cut a straight line. All right, now we're going to do the other side the same thing. So tilt your head a little bit that way. So on the front part, you're kind of pushing all the hair forward towards the ear. And then you go in right there and just follow that down. And then you push the ear away. And you go back this way. You just do it a little bit at a time so that you can see what you're doing. on this back part you comb the hair towards the front of the face and then you're going to flip your hand upside down like this you're going to go like this and cut down this way along the hairline and that just gives your wrist a break so you don't have to twist it and it keeps the line at a better angle too Sometimes there's these long hairs that get stuck right behind the ear. You're just going to want to go through and make sure you don't have any of those. That's better. Let's make sure they're not on this side. Oh, there's a couple. There they are. They just get tucked behind the ear and forgotten about, so just make sure you check for those. Okay. 
All right, so now we're going to do the bangs. They are really long. And I'm going to do these with a razor because I think it's better to have this really soft and so you can sweep it on the front. So I'm going to grab this. Okay, turn here. There you go. And his hair is going to be sweeping this way. So I'm just going to grab the front part and I'm just going to take the razor and kind of angle it forward like that on that piece right there. And then I'm going to come back over here and grab it in my hand this way and then I'm going to angle it some more and just kind of take off that long tail. And it's a little bit more because we don't want it in his eyes right when we cut it just because it will grow fast. We want to have a little bit of room for growth there. That's looking better. Okay. So then we still have, we're going to take the scissors now. We have this long tail right here because we want that to blend in. So we're going to take these two and we're just going to kind of chip away point cutting into the, the hair. Get that nice and thin. And then you can take the razor a little bit more right here because this is going to be a really heavy spot because you have this hair connecting with the sweepy hair and it's going to be a bulky spot right there. So I always take my razor and I just go in and kind of thin it out so that it has a little bit more room for that hair to come into it. And that's going to lay a lot better right there. Okay. We're still just a tad too long. Just for his eyes. There we go. That's better. So once you've razored out the front, Make sure you do the other little side too right here. Just kind of razor it down, blend it right in. All right, that's better. Does that feel good on your bangs or do you want them a little shorter? It feels good. It feels good? Okay. All right, so now we're going to take our scissors, or our shears, excuse me, shears. <laughs> so we're going to take our shears and we're going to cut in a little bit of, um, layer a little bit right there in the perimeter so that it's not so bulky because he doesn't want to like have a mushroom head so we're going to start at the front just comb this forward so we're just doing this side so make sure that that hair is kind of out of the way and you're just going to pull it up and you're going to angle your fingers out this way because we want it to be graduated from short to long so and I'm going to do it just below the roll of his head there. So, and you can see when you pull this up that you have this short piece right underneath here. Can you get a good shot of that? That's going to be your guide. So there's like that shortest piece right there. That's where you're going to cut to. And you just cut it so that you're not cutting towards the head. You're cutting a little bit at an angle like this. You're just going to do that, taking small sections all the way back. Chip behind the ear. And then when that longer hair lays over it, it has a little bit less of that bulk hanging out. See how that side lays in a little bit better than this side? We're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to take this hair and comb it forward. And then kind of just pull down the one we're going to work on. And you're going to step in front of them for this side because we're going to cut this way towards the back. So now we're going to take this piece of hair right towards the front, pull it forward. And then we're going to find that guide and just go up at an angle that way. 
And it helps you to have that correct angle if you're standing in the front here because your scissors can be like this. If you were standing on the other side, your scissors would be going down like this and it would give you this angle and then you would have a big shelf right here. So make sure you stand in the right spot. We're just going to go back and do the next section. Okay, so I'm kind of pulling that hair from the back now up to this front or front section. There we go. That will blend it in. Okay. All right. So now for the back. Go ahead and sit up straight, buddy. back we're going to take a section right here in the middle and we are going to put our fingers underneath like this so your hand is against their neck okay look down all the way there you go tuck your chin in we're just going to take and cut in. Putting my hand against his neck and then I'm pulling out just a teeny bit so that we can get a little bit more length back here. Sit up straight, put your legs down. There you go, that's better. Okay, okay, look, look down for me. There we go. So right here, we're going to join these two sections together and get rid of that. So we're going to go over like this. And we're still cutting at that angle, kind of upward away from the hair, the head, the top of the head, to get that longer length on the top and the shorter on the sides. 
Okay, so if you have this little thing going on where you comb the hair and it's going over the ears, you can just kind of take the scissors and the, the comb and tuck it underneath the ears and just knock off a little bit of it. And this will just taper it in a little bit too. There we go. That makes it a little bit cleaner. And we'll do it over here too. So you tuck the shears underneath and just kind of lift it out a little bit and knock off anything that's hanging over the ears. So now I'm going to go back over here and let some of this hair fall in and make sure it's blended. So we're going to just kind of angle it up a little bit more. There we go. And then tie in the side to the back again right here, how we go on the other side. So that's what that just did there. So now the biggest thing with this haircut, the basic shape of it is pretty much in there. The thing you'd want to do now is go through it with a razor, and this is what's going to give you that really edgy look, where and it have it just like kind of fold in and bend into each other a little bit more so it's not so bulky. So you're going to go ahead and take small sections. I'm going to start right here in the front left side, and I'm just going to kind of soft, like softly take out chunks of hair. Not too big of chunks, but just kind of blend in. Anything as I pull out that's not that's not blended in, you can kind of just razor into it. Look right here, it looks really thick. There we go. And this will help take out some, any lines that you might have to, because sometimes you can get that heaviness from this longer hair coming to lay down on this. And that kind of takes care of that. You itchy, buddy? Mm -hmm. All right, here, let's take care of that. Okay, look all the way down. He has some blonde hairs on his neck right here. I have a guard on my razor, and I always just go like this. And take off all that peach fuzz and the only thing you have to watch for is if they have any moles or stuff that sticks out from the skin. You'd want to do just the clippers instead of this. There you go. All right, so now we're going to go back over here. We weren't done with the razoring. We're just going to finish up. And it's going to go all the way around the back. So you're just taking sections like this all the way around to even the other side. And it's right in that line where it's going to be a little bit heavy. Just to blend in the top and the sides. So now I'm going to take the thinning shears. I'm just going to go through some of the ends and a little bit of the sides and just kind of clean it up. So I like to do this along the bottom of any of these hair cuts like this, kind of like around the 
a section that blends just to give it a little bit more of a blended look. And help it lay in a little bit more too. Especially right here where it's really heavy because those two sections meet. Now that we're done with all the texturing on the sides and everything, we're going to just go through and cut a little bit off the top because it's really, really long. So we're going to start by pulling the middle mohawk section up. And the bangs will be a good guide for us. So we have about that much to point cut out. And you want to be really careful in the back not to cut it too short because that's where all the calyx are. So you want to make sure when you come back this way on the side, you pull it straight up and you just nick off that part that doesn't blend in. Don't go too short. All right, so now we have a guide in the middle and we're just going to take up some side sections and point, cut those out too. Okay, now this side, same thing. And I'm going to come back here on the front and go back this way. I just think it's a little bit easier to see what's going on. There we go. So I'm working from the back forward right now make sure I don't have any too long pieces. There we go. Any pieces that are too long. Okay. That's better. Now we have a little bit less length on the top. Alright. So, if you want to have a little bit more of a PC bang, so it's not so solid, you can go through and just razor out a few pieces to make it really wispy. And then we are going to dry this up and check it for anything that we missed. All right, so we're just going to take a few more pieces out of the bangs so that they don't look so solid. And thinning shears are awesome for this too because we can just take out some of the bulk if you want it to look more wispy thin. That's better, it's not so thick. All right. And thinning shears, you can pretty much go through anything that looks a little bit choppy, you can go through and blend it in with these. It helps out a lot. I'm going to have hair all over you, Ricky. There we go. Okay, so once it's dry and you've blended in any pieces that don't look quite right to you, Maybe a little bit more right here. And you are done. Alright, 
right, so make sure you strum the hair to get all that loose hair out before you send them on their way. And then with this haircut, we're going to put a little bit of pomade in it just to kind of separate out the bangs and stuff. That's our long haired boys haircut. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment. And if you would like to request a video, that's a good way to do it too. Um, I really appreciate everyone with their support and their comments. And make sure you give me a thumbs up if you like this video, if you found anything in it helpful. And I'll see you next time.